Hi, how's it going? Um, today I've made, I'm, I'm gonna do this live arranging a samba theme. Um, and I'm gonna show a little bit of my process, uh, some things I, I, some resources I use, some things I, some ideas to explore when I'm doing some arrangement. So, uh, I'm gonna play a little bit for you, the Samba Triste by Baden Powell. And so I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna show how, uh, how you could work to, to learn a new Brazilian song, all right? So I'm gonna put the, on the screen the lead sheet and let's work on it. I've made, I've made, I've chosen, chosen this very simple, uh, it's very short melody um, by Baden Powell. That is one of my idols in in Brazilian music, and, and I'm gonna just read the, start reading the, the chords with the melody. It's to memorize the to memorize the the melody and the chords. But today I'm, I want you this. If you wanna do how I do, know how I, I work on this, it's just see some lives where I are learning a Brazilian song, learning a Fredo song. Just search on YouTube and you're gonna find some lives where I show techniques to memorize. Today I won't have time for this. So I'm gonna show other parts of the process, right? Uh, so one interesting thing that we would do is to study the comping. I'm using rootless chords here in the right hand, and I'm using the bass lines on the right, uh, the left hand. Sorry, uh, rootless chords right hand, bass lines left. I've read read the chords, most of the chords putting the ninth on it. Uh, and let me try to experiment some tensions. In the diminished chord, diminished chords I didn't use any tension. But la let's try to explore uh, some possibility. The major seven doesn't sound. Very 
shocking. This first one, that's alright, but... Let me search for other tension. Oh, it's very shocking. So I won't use some tensions here. It's missing. I test the major seven, the ninth. They are very shocking. So just the diminished chords also. I put the ninth, but I think it's gonna shock. So, one alternative for this, it's use the eleventh on diminished chords. solution to to change the A diminution by an F7 and G sharp diminution with change with a E7 flat 9 so this will be my rootless chords for this song to test if there is if is there's any shock all right um, this is the basic of the basic of the process and so let me try to explore a little bit in, the, in this third step just read doing some voices I'm, I won't try to repeat the any notes when I'm opening this It's an, uh, an, an, an inevitable. Oh, 
other thing though, when I play higher voices to create some balance, I repeat notes also. This is let's, we can talk more about this situation, all right? Sorry. This is a little bit of exploration of, of uh, the, the voicings. Trying not to repeat notes, but if you wanna me, uh, want me to expand a little bit more about that, how I think the ex exceptions and other other details, I'm gonna do a live just about about that. All right. I didn't memorize any uh, specific voicing. I, I worked a little bit in some ones, but this uh, I'm, I'm knowing how to play the song. I don't play by heart. 
I like very much but then uh, I remind that I don't know this this song so this is our way uh, I'm gonna choose to change the subject a little bit uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of improvising <laughs> Other thing that is important, work in a little bit in the two function left hand that I say too much in my I've have said about uh, too much. you can put the melody I start I can start a little bit in improvising Let me return my internet connection has uh, bit let's try to, to do the same idea
try to improvise a little bit with another um, another kind of comping just just with the rootless chords oh, sorry in another uh, texture I'm gonna uh, explore a little bit of the low lower uh, lower part can I could do to explore this song uh, let's do a little bit of melody on the left hand interesting because you can use some uh, in some moments change what hand is doing the melody let me try to use some comping melodical melodical comping <laughs> we have when we start studying this is to use the same notes on the both hands that's uh, that's what's happening all right so let's go uh
so it's not perfect yet but I'm exploring a little bit this this situation and I can do the opposite <laughs> exploring this and other things during in higher octaves for example ah uh, and here in Brazil is, we call pontilism it's it's kind of it's kind of space nod ideas that I'm, I'm not in, uh, working hard in, in uh, let me take off this a little bit I'm gonna I'm gonna take off this screen and just play and explore the variations all right so uh, let me try to do one solo tries some solo tries
this was a little bit of uh, me making uh, some arrangement exploring the different textures not that I I've didn't join everything I, I've stated but this is true to create these possibilities all right I, we don't know where the arrangement goes but we explore and I don't have a, a all the time uh, it's not all the situations I have time to explore in details all the textures this is a common one I have just some minutes to do this live and I've chosen to, to, to show and also and already play and this will be very common in your uh, music career or your musical life sometimes you don't have so many times to prepare all the details all right i hope you have enjoyed this live uh, i hope you have learned and opened your mind to new possibilities of how to work in on a on a brazilian song and if you want to know more details uh, about the language i have uh, some lives talking about the rhythmic layers of samba, how to uh, how to play then, where is important, where is important to play with, uh, put accent, uh, and um, what is the melodical language to improvise also. So you can hear all the all here in this channel that I call Brazilian Accent Improvisation Channel, where I teach pianists to play Brazilian music in an authentic way. I hope you have enjoyed and see you for more lives about how to play Brazilian music uh, in a lot of styles, uh, a lot of Brazilian styles, all right? I'm Luciano Ruas from Sao Paulo, Brazil, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.